alternative billing technologies are gaining more and more popularity in the market. In my previous videos, I talked about EPS panels and interlocking stabilized soil blocks. In this video, we'll look at another alternative billing technology, the precast concrete wall panels. The big idea of this video is to help you discover what these panels are, to help you in your decision making process when you're going to start your construction project, when you're going to build your house. And to make it easier, we'll break down that long definition into two parts. First, we look at precast concrete and discover what precast concrete is, and we'll connect precast concrete to wall panels so that we have the end product, the precast concrete wall panels. Hi, I'm Nick Moema from Property Noma. So let's get started with the first component, which is precast concrete. To help us understand what precast concrete means, let's start by first answering this question. What is precast concrete? Precast concrete is a type of concrete that is prepared off-site. This means that precast concrete is prepared, cast and cured at a controlled facility away from your construction site. Molds or special formwork is used to get the required dimensions of precast concrete elements. Next, let's look at the second part, which is the wall panel component. When you buy these panels, they'll be grey in colour, which is normally the colour of concrete. They also have circular openings that run the entire span of the panels. Some of the benefits you get from these panels are 1. They come pre-plastered. This means that concrete is already applied to them and this is the biggest benefit with precast concrete wall panels. 2. Because they are already plastered, installation happens quickly as it's only a matter of erecting them on site. And 3. Since installation happens quickly, you save on time. Time in construction is extremely valuable and if you can save it, you can finish your construction within the set timelines. Another major advantage of precast panels is their suitability to affordable housing projects. If you want to build your house on a tight budget, precast panels can help you realize your goal. We look at the price of a single panel later on in the video. Having looked at some of the benefits, let's explore the design features in more detail. We'll start with the hollow circular openings. These openings are not there by random. In fact, they do have three jobs that they do. The first one is the thermal job as air is a bad conductor of heat. The air that is trapped inside the openings will act as temperature regulators. If it's hot outside, the air inside these openings will prevent the cool air inside a house from escaping. The vice versa is also true. If it's cold outside, the warm air inside a house won't escape as quickly because of the trapped air inside the openings. That's the heat regulation job. The second job is soundproofing because air is a poor conductor of sound. And because of that, the trapped air inside the openings adds a soundproofing element to the panels. And thirdly, these openings provide a path where plumbing and electrical conduits can pass through. The panels can then be hacked at appropriate areas to install sockets or pipe joints. Another design feature is the interlocking grooves. This feature helps the panel kiss each other to provide a seamless joint between one panel and the next one. Galvanized steel is also embedded inside the panel to provide reinforcement. This adds more strength to the precast concrete panel and also helps to minimize cracks. Now, let's look at the dimensions of these panels. The width and thickness remain the same for each panel. The width of a single precast panel measures 0.6 meters, 
while the thickness measures 90 millimeters or 9 centimeters. What varies is the height and this is done to suit your needs as each construction project is unique in nature. But there are common heights which are readily available. These are ceiling heights which, are, which determine how high a ceiling should be. The heights are 2.5 meters, 2.7 meters and 3 meters. Most precast concrete wall panels have a maximum height of 3 meters. There's an important accessory that comes with precast panels. That accessory is called the steel C channel. It's called that because it looks like the letter C. Steel C channels act as 1. A lintel beam, which is normally placed on top of doors and windows on a wall for load bearing purposes. This adds more strength to the panel. 2. The steel C channel acts as a ring beam. They are placed at the top of the panels to hold them in place. They run throughout the perimeter where the panels have been installed. And three, they're placed at the foundation and bolted in place. They secure the panels to the foundation, ensuring continuity of the structure. The precast concrete panels slide through these C channels, firmly holding them in place. What makes an alternative building technology appealing is its price. For precast concrete wall panels, the price is determined by the height you want. The taller the panel, the more the cost. I visited Square Apple, which is a Kenyan company that manufactures precast concrete wall panels. And as a side note, this isn't a paid promotion or anything like that. I simply want to help you in your decision making if you're going to use precast concrete panels for your construction project. With that said, the price of a single 2.5 meter high precast panel is 1950 shillings. The price of a single 3 meter high panel is 2205 shillings. As an example, for a typical 3 bedroom bungalow, you will need between 100 to 150 panels depending on the size of your project. If you want accurate quotations, I've left links in the description below to Kenyan companies that deal with precast concrete wall panels. Let's review what we've learned so far. We discovered that precast concrete wall panels are an alternative building technology. We also saw the benefits of precast concrete and looked at the design features of the wall panels. And we've also looked at the price of two panels of different heights. In the next video, we look at five factors that differentiate EPS and precast concrete wall panels. I hope you found this video useful. Consider leaving a like to help it reach more people. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.